purple lotuses do work not as good. Black lotuses work much better. There's a little less of them and you do have to avoid gas. Gas isn't too bad, so don't even worry about it. Just like if you notice you're starting to die, leave and heal, I guess. If you're new to Conan Exiles, getting to level 60 can be kind of grindy. But there's a couple of things that you can do to make it a little bit less effort. Regardless on what technique you use, it will take a couple of hours unless you are like godlike at running or you are trading in some regard on admin mode and teleporting or you happen to know some people on the server who can help you out a little bit with some teleports around and some tools to help you go and stuff. As I copped some flack for being in god mode for showing the principle of the idea on my other video, I am here on official servers. Starting out on one I haven't played on before to see how quickly I can get to level 60 and show you all my technique along the way. I do like to start out with pottering along at some of the journey steps as I feel they help me get along. I don't usually just grind out the levels, I usually build along the way a little bit as well as grinding out for the most part, but I like to acquire some supplies along my way. It does make leveling mildly less tedious in my opinion. But you can use these strats to go from 0 to 60 just with just doing that if you like. As I know my playstyle is not for everyone, you can just pick and choose what you want to use out of this guide as you will. My starting time is around 7.20pm and I'll update that time once I've reached level 60 so you can get a rough estimate as I won't be recording the entire process. Because there's a lot of running and that would it just be nonsense to include even if it was sped up so I'll be cutting out the running and things like that just to make it more pleasant for y'all's viewing. I like to start off by killing a few little things on the beach and getting a few little levels under my belt. And I'm going to head on up to Mechamosis' Spire and try my luck at getting a Black Blood weapon, a uh, Black Blood tool rather, and a legendary weapon. But first, I'm going to have to make my way over to Shaman's Rise, just over in F4, where you learn the Yog religion, as there's an easy to get Blood Golem, Rock Nose thing there. Kill these guys, I don't want to die particularly. At these levels you get a decent amount for combat and harvesting of most things so just smack up as much as you like and just drop it as you go like rocks. Make sure to grab some aloe as you'll likely need it and there's not much in between here and there that we're going to bother getting. And sometimes you can kill some of the dudes along here and get some random armor which is kind of fun but we want to place a bedroll first I think. And we are trying to get to at least efficient harvest to get that the blood crystal in a good amount hopefully and hard worker does make the whole process of the leveling much quicker and we're not going to be fighting a huge amount of stuff but the legendary weapon we're going to acquire at mechamosis will make that pretty easy anyway and tier one of vitality definitely doesn't hurt in this process I've just spent some time to gather a little bit of iron to get an iron pick and get up to level 12 I think I am now so I can have that careful harvest, efficient harvest. This guy's pretty easy to get right here. I accidentally made some of the wrong armor which is kind of annoying but it is what it is. And a nice early game weapon is that dead leg getting it from your body. So I got 48 crystals, not bad. I may wait for his respawn. And if I don't wait and I go all the way to Mechamosis, I may not get enough obelisks to get both a tool and a weapon, which is okay because we do have the iron pick. So it's relative to how long you want to wait for something to respawn like the blood golem. And it's just going to take a little bit of extra time without that black blood tool. So it depends how long, like, how your time is more precious to you, I guess, how you want to spend that. While you're nearby, the boss crocodile's not too hard to kill at this level, even naked with stone daggers. And there's also the Sinner's Refuge Cave, where you can get some brimstone for some early levels and a bit of cheap armor. So I didn't wait around for the rock nose to respawn, and unfortunately, <laughs> I was right, I got 25 obelisks, so I'm short for the Elves Drinker by one, but I can get the pick, which is very handy, because I can get Lotus and Black Ice with it. I'll be getting that. I'm going to try my luck finding the Blood Rock Nose near here, but ugh, um, alternatively I can kill the crocodile beneath me, but that could also be a mess around, but I do want a better weapon. Just using the elephant to help me out a bit because this guy, as you can see, is a bit of a psycho. Took me a second to find him, but we're at the ruins of Almeria. I knew he was about here somewhere. 
There's a legendary cat up there, so I got caught in a bit of a death loop. That was fun. Moving on over back to Mechamosis. I was level 16, but with the black blood pick and I see on the iron stone here on my way back up, I thought I should probably mine it. You can see I'm getting a lot more bang for my buck, making it kind of worthy compared to the iron. I got an L's drinker, which wasn't my first choice of sword, but it is better than some of the other options. So I got that and another black blood pick because I couldn't be bothered waiting around. I've already been at this for far too long. And now I'm going to make my way up towards Mounds of the Dead. Seems like quite an adventure for right now. Alternatively, you can also run down over to the Purple Lotus, which seems almost closer at this point. People who block convenient pathways with giant nonsense buildings, I hate you. You made my life harder. At least most people watching this are probably playing on single player or PvE. Or well, PvE will probably occur this even worse. But usually there's a pathway north just here. Why would Funcom do anything about this when they're too busy banning people for no reason? Cool, guess I'll walk around. Getting shot at by something. Decided to interject with just a smidge of bitterness. Someone's there. Probably them again. Now that you've made it to Mounds, I advise putting down a bedroll because things are pretty crazy if you've come this way rather than the jungle. But it's okay because you've got your legendary weapon. You can build a little hut and grind some bearer thralls and stuff while you're here. It's pretty handy to get a little head up in the game. Those simple people have another giant hut because why would they not? But one of the things we're here for is these stacks of red mushrooms on the ground. As you can see, they just give us a nonsense amount of XP for a mushroom. But not just them. You do want to look out for the red lotus. I'm level 25. As you can see, it just chunks. You might as well get some of this while you're here too because it all adds up. It does start slowing down remarkably the bark and other things um, after like level 30. But the mushrooms and the lotuses seem to stay. Plus you can kill some of the whites or the blue skeletons for some added armor and other things. And while you're waiting for respawns, even go get a bit of ice and black ice up here on the ledge, which I'll show you when I go to do. I'm going to go around and get a bunch of the lotus and then come back for the mushrooms. Well, I'll get a couple along the way, but I'll probably pause while I'm doing that. The key locations to look for the lotus. Uh, right in the middle and around there's various different little mounds so you'll find some around that little mound and those ones up on the hills but not the ones that have the people at them so you can avoid people altogether. you can get a bunch of the iron that's around here as well if you've got a crafting hut start smelting that away to upgrade your things as you go which is nice to do as you start unlocking levels quite rapidly it's nice to have things to utilize nothing amazing but again it adds up while you're already in the area but do focus on the lotuses first and get the other stuff while you're waiting for them to respawn because they take about 15 minutes half an hour it's something like that i think it's like half an hour to be fair it's a rarer resource yet this is simple oh poo crazy someone else should place that before I forget. There are a fair few skeleton guys around this little burrow which you can kill for XP but I'm already level 30 and it's only been a couple of lotuses. Sometimes this area can be contested with other people. Whoa. Okay for now I'm just gonna ignore them until I level up a bit more and can put some points in. Some stuff that's going to help me. Great. To be fair, I probably already can. I just haven't. I think I want to get that pile of mushrooms. But they're pretty easy to avoid, as you can see. Well, easy enough anyway. While you're doing it, you do want to have a couple of things. 
try it name for hard worker as you get more XP as you harvest the thing quicker, which is nice. So definitely aim for that as soon as you can. And then some vitality and some strength or agility, whatever you're going for. I weirdly am wearing agility armor, but I've got a strength weapon. Put a couple of points in there. I mean, max encumbrance isn't wildly necessary. It does speed things up a little bit because you don't have to stop and drop things, but you can fight things if you have the perks and these other perks. I think that guy dropped a little bit of veneer armor. If you've come here completely naked and didn't waste any time crafting stuff like I did, you can just kill these guys and get armor. You just got to be a bit more careful. Alternatively, if you've gone to the jungle, you can get some early game better armor, probably even than this stuff anyway, because it's legend um, epic. From the Bogota of Boundless Lust, killing the Lemarians in between your little runs of these Black Lotus and the Purple Lotus and all the mushrooms in between, and there's puffballs all around rather than Amanitas. At level 32, I'm just going to hit this little patch of mushrooms. Probably get a whole level because it's nonsense. Now this will go a little bit slower if you don't have a black blood pick. A sickle or an axe will also harvest these things as well as the lotus, um, but they will not harvest the black ice and the ice if you choose to go up to the ledge while waiting for respawns. Mushrooms do get kind of heavy. Whoa! Excuse you. I think the Axie guys are easy to avoid. Come on, I don't really want to go down there to get your body. And that guy gave me a fairly decent pick if you have had bad luck getting resources or getting the other thing and we got a truncheon, some other cool stuff. So it's definitely worth killing a couple of them, even though they don't get very much XP. And a couple more over here. A decent amount of resources and not and dropping most of them but if you want to gather them like i said you'll end up with quite a bunch of stuff by the time you are level 60. oh i could have jumped across don't know what i'm doing sometimes it is better to take them out first A couple of truncheons going. And I can always eat my lasting feast, which will give me a bonus encumbrance. That's the obelisk if you haven't already. And a little book. There's none over there from memory where you can get that metal. I'd run around now and get some Amanitas and also get the last couple that are over on the mounds over here. And just here at this little mound are a couple more lurking about, more blue dudes lurking as well. And then you're kind of getting close to the actual Sumerian, so watch out for them. I think that's all there is here. There's a Sumerian Berserker somewhere real close. Sometimes assholes build here and block stuff. I don't think these guys have built quite close enough. Just nice. And by the time you gather up a bunch of Amanitas or trek up onto the hill here to get some ice, you might need to kill some more blue skeletons to get some spicy food off them to survive good. But once you get that or if you've been crafting away, that's another decent way to get levels. But I find this a lot less hard, if not a bit more tedious. And you can come here and just kill dudes straight up and try your luck to get stuff. But I do advise going to Mechamosis and getting the blood crystal things and trading them in for the obelisks and getting the black blood pick and a legendary weapon because it will help your life. Unless you are going over towards the 
jungle, but it still really does help. It makes it a bunch quicker. We might have to do at least three loops of the Lotus and the Aminators, kill a few guys in between, harvesting a few supplementary things as well. Depends on how dedicated you are at doing it all at once. But it is usually around three hours. You can do it quicker if you're not messing around. Always on the servers that I'm not playing on, I find Star Metal straight away. My gold. Which is up here at Skyfall Ridge. Just making our way. You can actually walk up, I got a bit too far. So I'm gonna climb. But distract by the Star Metal. You can hit some ice for a little bit of levels. Oops, dropped my iron. Although I don't really need that. Someone's house probably got destroyed by star metal, so I should go suss it out. That is also the problem on of multiplayer. You often get distracted by snooping into other people's stuff. This is what's kind of got me a bit distracted. So as you can see, I was still getting more from the Lotus by far. I don't need most of this stuff. Do you think there's anything there? I get this little bit of black ice. And I hit extremely cold just so I want to be quick about it. But as you can see, it also gives a butt ton of XP, especially with the double harvest and the black blood pick. You can keep it and craft things or throw it on the ground like I did. So I'm probably not going to be able to make it a huge amount further. But you can run back to here and get unfrosty. Making a torch can also help keep you warm. Because you can't climb while well, you're cold. It's a quick way down. I don't die from full damage. Going to see how far I get with my torch. Well, now it's time to have it anyway because AFK'd not very far. It's unfortunate. Pretty sure once I get past this bit though, I'm back out of the danger area. I could be wrong. Just take our quick way down. As we'll mine this metal pile while we're here. Oh, it's like no XP at this level. Oh, regardless, the Lotus should have respawned and there's still a lot of Amanitas to get. I got like a level or two from up there. Oh, we'll end up adding up over some time. Do we have any back? Probably not these ones yet because they were the last ones I got. You can make a death run past the Sumerian Berserker. All these guys. I mean, much better armor. They're worth killing just for that. Take that, don't need it, but I will take it. The lettuces aren't quite back yet, but they should be soon, so I'm going to go hit some Amanitas over here. There's more densely packed ones, but I know where these ones are, also. It is slightly easier to get them with the sickle, not going to lie. There's a pretty decent little patch right up from where I was. I've even finished the pack and patch and I'm almost up a level again. Crazy. And now the lotuses are back. I'm level 42. Although they do sporadically spawn back, so some of them might not be. It's kind of a little bit annoying on your second run, but if you've done things correctly, you shouldn't need to much more than that. You might have to come back and check the areas a couple of times. So as you can see, not all of them are back. But considering I don't have to freeze my tits off in the snow and risk dying and placing bedrolls and all of that annoyingness, 
And purple lotuses do work not as good. Black lotuses work much better. There's a little less of them and you do have to avoid gas. Gas isn't too bad, so don't even worry about it. Just like if you notice you're starting to die, leave and heal, I guess. So it'd probably be in my benefit to find some more mushrooms to harvest just for a little while whilst waiting for stuff to respawn. Not gonna let me get that one. Because chances are I'll go up onto those other mounds and the lotuses won't even be back yet. I got lucky while killing one of the blue dudes and got an advanced tool upgrade and I'm gonna put that on my spare black blood pick and change them over and gain stuff even quicker. Because essentially the more you harvest, the more XP you get. Just over here, there's a lot more Amanitas scattered about. There's a big patch somewhere hereabouts as well. Let's see it with this fancy toolkit. It is more. Not by a huge amount, but it is more. And it'll add up. So I got a bit distracted with a little conversation from someone who joined the server. But, ah. I've uh, come up here while I'm waiting for stuff to respawn and just hitting some ice. I'm level 55, so I'm pretty close, and I got the most of the way there just hitting lotuses and mushrooms. I've come this way down around the mountain. There's a little bit of frostbite, but if you can run through it, you're usually pretty good. I fell down the cliff, so that was inconvenient. Sometimes these guys fight each other. Excuse me. I'm stuck on him. He's pretty easy to kill though. And don't forget to hack him up. Some extra blood crystals. I'd be able to get heaps of stuff now if I was staying on the server. He's pretty decent. Hack him up. But the main star of the show is the black ice. Reason for coming up here. And as you can see, it's not as good as the Lotus. And to get the real good spot, you got to go in there to the Frost Temple. Which is why I don't prefer going straight to Black Ice or Obsidian, because they're a bit harder to get to. But yeah, they're good levels. After this, any remaining levels will definitely be able to get got with the respawned Lotus. And we've been just about four hours. I did AFK for about an hour of that. Um, so technically three hours, but it is almost 11 and I started at 7. Last year I started at 7.20. It's almost 11. So it's been a bit under. So like almost two and a half hours and you could definitely get it done quicker because I messed around a bunch over at Mechamosis' Spire as well. Or alternatively, take it slower and actually like keep a bunch of these resources and have things. I've kept a lot of stuff that like... I don't really need to keep, but like would maybe come in handy if I was staying. Like I managed to get an advanced blunting kit, so I could put that on a truncheon or some steel daggers. Knock out some dudes, get some star metal easily that way, because they tame very quickly. Specifically knock out the Sumerians like a tier one, tier two fighter. Dismantle their goods. Now level 56, I'll run around and get the last remaining spawned in lotus. It is a bit tedious because they do spawn in a bit sporadically, but the mushrooms spawn in quicker. So you can continuously harvest the mushrooms while you are waiting. It's like two spawns of the mushrooms and these guys per lotus. You can get some nice little armors and all that that you've seen so far, so they're worth killing. I think I've said that like 17 times. It's hard to know because they keep pausing. There may even be some lotus over there, but I don't think so. Funny if there was and I've been missing it this whole time. No. I mean, depending on RNG, you can kill the first guy and get some spicy and go hit some black ice really early. In. Or you can just butter away and hit lotuses and mushrooms the entire time. I am level 58, almost 59. I still got a few more lotuses to hit. It's now 11 o'clock. And just so you can see, at this level, it's still just giving a nonsense amount of XP. It's a bit slow waiting for the respawn is one of the downsides. But the upside is the mushrooms do respawn back quicker and there's many of them. 
like they don't seem like a whole bunch of XP, but once you hit like a quazillion of them, like this little patch, right here, it just starts chunking and I'm level 59. I could get my last level just hitting mushrooms along this shore. Maybe kill a few more whites. It is now three past eleven. Spent the past three minutes looking for mushrooms, hitting them. Probably could have hit a lotus by now, but I wanted to prove a point that mushrooms are nonsense. And I'm now level 60. Huzzah. So usually, like I said, I would be pottering away at making some benches and a little house and gathering some resources as I level up and not just dumping everything. But that's because I play as a solo player. If you happen to have a tribe and you want to level up quickly, this strat works really well because you'll probably have access to some of this stuff without having to fluff around for the little beginning bit like I did. I had a couple of unfortunate deaths, but that is to be expected for the most part. I fell off a cliff, I died to some boss tigers I wasn't expecting. It took me a while to run back to some things. Didn't actually end up dying of frostbite, which was nice or extreme cold. But in summary, a blackbird tool isn't really necessary, but it will make things go a little bit quicker. And same with the legendary weapon. You can go over towards the jungle, like I said, and mix it up with going and getting some obsidian from the volcano or the little bits of black ice here by going through the passage in the jungle. If you want to see a jungle leveling up video, an alternative to the hitting the lotus over at mounds and killing the skeletons and stuff here, you can mix it up by going up here and hitting the ice and the black ice, but be warned, you may fall off a cliff and die. Put a bedroll nearby so you don't have to run as far. But there is a way where you can run along here and just get a little bit of extreme cold if you have armor on and a torch. And then it's pretty good once you're over here. The black ice takes a long time to spawn back unless you want to make it all the way over to this black ice. But if you're a solo player, this is super easy to achieve in around four hours. I AFK'd for an hour, so it's pretty much three hours, but I'm also like more expert at the game than most people probably watching this guide. So add an extra hour on for some deaths anyway, rather than me just standing there while I ate dinner. Try to achieve a couple of little journey steps and kill some blood rock noses or golems and get yourself over to Mechamosis' spire to get that black blood tool. Doesn't have to be a pick. Any of them will do except for the skinning knife. You can't use that. So for the skinning knife, that's a little unfortunate. Does it even drop the skinning knife? Anyway, any of the other tools will achieve the lotus and mushroom harvesting. Sickle works best for mushrooms and lotuses, to be fair. But the pick will get you the black ice and the ice as well. I'd say it's probably two hours if you chuck the black ice and ice into your regime a little bit quicker so you can hit their respawns or while you're waiting for some of the respawns over here. Less wasted time. And then if you're pottering away, the time doesn't really matter in between the respawns because you're getting some other stuff done, which is why that's usually my preferred method. Now, by the time I'm level 60, I don't have to go farm extra things now. But again, if you're joining a tribe, that's less necessary because they probably already have things. If you're leveling up as a tribe together, well, talk about that with your tribe, what you want to keep and dump. Or if you want to just mass level quickly, or if some people are going to slowly level and farm and build the resources that you need, etc, etc. But being able to have access to high level recipes early on is beneficial, hence why people do like to level quickly on especially PvP servers. Now on this dusk, to leave my body on a random pillar for someone to may or may not discover and leave this exile lens. Now that I've proved unofficial that you can do it quite easily from scratch and getting a black blood tool isn't very hard low level at all. I did it at level 15 or whatever I was when I actually got it. Super easy to kill your first blood crystal rock nose and happy adventuring. Whether you go to the jungle or to mounds, definitely hit up some lotuses and mushrooms, emanators, or puffballs, depending where you're at.